Oh, hi, weirdos. Dan Rossbach here, your lead discussant at the Weird Book Book Club. Today we're doing the second installment of a new series type thing that I probably will keep doing periodically. As an incentive to get myself and maybe some of you to start reading some more poetry, I'm just going to share a few favorites I've encountered with minimal commentary from me and see if we can get a discussion going in the comment section down below. So as far as giving myself incentive to read more new poetry, this one is a little bit of a cheat because it comes from one of my longtime favorite poets, Frank O'Hara. I think I first fell in love with his work as an undergraduate when I saw a brief clip from a documentary on him where he reads one of his poems, Sharing a Coke With You. The documentary is actually freely available on YouTube, so I'll link that down below as well. Because honestly, hearing Frank O'Hara read his own poetry is probably the best way to experience it. Just to give you some context, Frank O'Hara was a gay poet, a contemporary of the Beats, but way, way better than all of them. <laughs> in addition to his work as a poet, he was also a curator at the Museum of Modern Art in New York. You'll often see a lot of influence from the art world at large sort of creeping into his poetry. Lots of specific references to both high art and popular culture. And this poem in particular appeals to me for its explicit engagement with sexuality. You'll see kind of a scene of cruising about midway through the poem. Do straight people know what cruising is? I'm never really sure what straight people know. And also the title, Ave Maria, which you might translate as Hail Mary. I like to think of that as a subtle sign of recognition from one queer to another. Anyway, here we go. So I've misplaced my copy of Lunch Poems, the collection that this comes from. So you're going to see me awkwardly reading off of a screen somewhere over to the side here. But I'll overlay a picture of uh, Frank O'Hara's handsome face in this general vicinity. So you can imagine that I'm sort of coyly, eyes downcast, reciting Frank's own words back to him. All right, here we go. Ave Maria. Mothers of America, let your kids go to the movies. Get them out of the house so they won't know what you're up to. It's true that fresh air is good for the body, but what about the soul that grows in darkness, embossed by silvery images? And when you grow old as old you must, they won't hate you. They won't criticize you. They won't know. They'll be in some glamorous country they first saw on a Saturday afternoon or playing hooky. They may even be grateful to you for their first sexual experience, which only cost you a quarter and didn't upset the peaceful home. They will know where candy bars come from and gratuitous bags of popcorn, as gratuitous as leaving the movie before it's over, with a pleasant stranger whose apartment is in the Heaven on Earth building near the Williamsburg Bridge. Oh, mothers, you all have made the little tykes so happy, because if nobody does pick them up in the movies, they won't know the difference. And if somebody does, it'll be sheer gravy. And they'll have been truly entertained either way. Instead of hanging around the yard or up in their room, hating you prematurely since you won't have done anything horribly mean yet, except keeping them from the darker joys. It's unforgivable, the latter, so don't blame me if you won't take this advice and the family breaks up and your children grow old and blind in front of a TV set, seeing movies you wouldn't let them see when they were young. All right, that's all for today. Like I said, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Liking, sharing, subscribing, always appreciated. If you have any poetry recommendations you'd like to share with me, I would love to receive them. And until next time, happy reading, weirdos. Maybe down the hill, you